Hey everyone, excited, very excited here to show you a comparison against the brand new Tesla Model S long range version versus the Plaid version. Everyone's been talking about this on YouTube. We finally got it here right in front of us. So we're going to do a deep review and comparison on the two cars. I will talk about some of the numbers in performance but we're not gonna actually drive them today. We're just gonna look at an outside comparison and some of the inside comparisons as well. So let's quickly walk our way around the car. Uh, so many of you have already seen a couple of my videos on the long range version. Uh, the black one here is the long range version. The gray is the plaid version. So everyone knows that I chose the white interior with mahogany uh, wood accents in here and um, we'll kind of walk around look at the lines on the car uh, no label on what kind of version it is long range version has no badge or label there as you can see so I think most of you are pretty used to this now let's take a look at the plaid version so the plaid version does have the plaid logo there as you can see it and uh, by the way this is one of my buddies cars he just got it the other day they called him out of the blue and said they're ready to deliver it so uh, that's I guess how Tesla is delivering the cars right now so take a look at the lines on it the wheels and now let's start with our kind of comparison that we want to do so the first thing I want to do is look at the front of the car itself let's get down and take a look one of the most distinctive aspects on the new version here is this front fender and um, front end bumper that kind of pokes out now it looks just amazing but you can see both cars side by side here both have the exact same front end on the car my buddy was also able to remove his front license plate holder as well I'm wondering if he looked at my video when he did that but uh, it looks beautiful there and uh, I love the gray because you see a lot more of the contrast between the black and the gray and as a comparison, you can see in the long range version, uh, also the same front end, no difference there at all. Okay. Now let's take a look at the tires. There's a lot of people on YouTube that says there's actually different wheels and tires between the two cars. Well, let's look at a quick comparison on that. So we're running the, on the long range, we have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. And the size on this, as everyone may know already, is a 265-35ZR21. Now let's look at the long range version. So we have a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S also. And down below here, where's the size? Um, if I can find the size on it, there it is. 265-35ZR21, it's on the front. So as you can see, it's an identical match. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear tires and check that out as well. So again, we're on the Michelin 295-30ZR21s. And on the long range version, we have the Michelin Sport 4S. And the size on this one is 295-30ZR21. So exact same tires, rims on the car. Um, I'm not sure about the brakes. The brakes look similar. They're both the black caliber brakes um the i would imagine the the uh, plaid actually has a little bit more of a high performance brake but if any of you know that in the comments please let me know i would love to hear from you guys if you know a little bit more about the brakes the front calibers are quite a bit larger obviously for better stopping power but on uh, the long range version they also look about the same size as well so pretty nice uh, comparison there all right uh, both of them do have the full self-driving, so they have all the cameras around the car. Um, the other kind of miss rumor I've heard as well is about the fenders. Some people online and YouTube have said that the fenders on the plaid version stick out. The hips, the, the rear hips stick out a little bit further. Um, in my impression, they look about the same, exactly. Let me just move over to the plaid scoot back here and yeah i mean the width of the car looks pretty much identical to the long range version as far as the width of the car so no problems there at all looks exactly the same 
Okay, let's look at the rear end of the car. That's just slightly different between the two. Um, so you can see on the long range version, there is no carbon fiber fin that sits really on the lip here. And on the plaid version, we do have that carbon fiber fin, which I like quite a bit. That's really nice. I might actually try to see if I can get one of those aftermarket and order one of those, but I like that a lot. Looks really nice. And I like how it also sticks out a little bit. See that comparison there? It kind of sticks out a few inches there. It looks really nice. Um, the diffusers are pretty much exactly the same as I've looked at them. So you can see down below here, they look pretty much exactly the same on the diffuser. The one thing I like about my buddy's car here is the color combination he got, where you see a little bit of contrast with the black versus the gray there. Uh, so that looks really nice. But as far as the diffuser is concerned, it's pretty much exactly the same. Of course, we have the badge, the plaid badge we've already pointed out. But let's also look at it now on the long range version. Yeah, the diffuser is pretty much exactly the same there. And you can see as I kind of go underneath it, exactly the same and no badge on the long range version. So pretty much the same. Okay, let's take a quick look inside the plaid now. Um, I think many of you have seen my video on the inside interior of my car. Uh, there's one big option that's inside the plaid version um, that the long range is not even an option on. So the one thing is going to be this carbon fiber you can see. Uh, the detail on this carbon fiber is really nice. It's really smooth. Uh, it's got a little bit of a shine to it, which I love quite a bit. Let me go ahead and hop in here. Um, same compartments. All those things are um, identical to the long range version, but that carbon fiber looks nice. Now he chose black um, interior, which looks just fabulous. All the same kinds of trims, except for this carbon fiber. That carbon fiber is not even an option on the long range version. So I like that quite a bit. They kept that just for the top model. And um, let's take a look. The other big thing they did is on the plaid version, you can see they have an extra stitch here, uh, this gray here. And when you get a plaid with a white version, they actually um, make this color a little more of an accent so it shines out. Other than that, then the seats look pretty identical and the rear of the car is pretty much exactly the same. So overall, just beautiful. Now, the only thing that's different is obviously the most obvious feature between plaid and long range is the speed itself. I'll put up a slide in the video here so you guys can see some comparisons on the speed. I was able to find a source online. I'll reference that source for you guys, but uh, there's a big difference in the speed. So the long range version will go zero to 60 in about 3.1 seconds. And the plaid in normal conditions is gonna go zero to 60 in about 2.1 to 2.2 seconds. And if you have perfect conditions, as everyone knows, you will go under two seconds in zero to 60. Now in the quarter mile, the long range version hits the quarter mile in about 11.4, and the plaid hits the quarter mile in about 9.3. So considerably faster once you get over that zero to 60. One of the things I took a look at there with the uh, zero to 60 is your, it's about a car length. So if you can imagine both cars taken off, um, the plaid's gonna get there with about a car length difference than the long range version. But, but just as I had mentioned, 2.1 to 3.1, super fast. So it's about a car length difference. And then in the um, quarter mile, you're definitely gonna see the plaid pull ahead. In fact, the plaid should go all the way zero to about 150 miles an hour, basically faster than any car in the world right now. Um, and that's where the plaid makes a giant difference is its ability to go past 60 miles an hour up to 100 or all the way through the quarter mile at remarkable speeds. I mean, people are just blown away by it because it's beating basically $3 million Bugatti. So pretty fantastic, amazing car. Um, people say it's, it's pretty much a production miracle that mankind was able to create a car like that. But overall, aesthetics are pretty beautiful. Um, both cars just look outstanding. It's just an honor to be here and be able to have these. So 
Thanks a lot for your time to guys today. Uh, please subscribe to the uh, channel. Um, look for a couple more videos. We're gonna be doing some more comparisons on these two cars and eventually we'll get out and do a zero to 60 somewhere where it's safe. Uh, probably won't be able to do that quarter mile because we'll be well over 120 unless we find a track somewhere where it's a little bit safer to do that kind of stuff. But anyways, thanks again for your time today. Please write any comments, suggestions down below. And if you guys have any questions, I'm always open to that or any comparison videos you guys would like to see. I'll see if I can get my buddy to come out again and uh, we'll try to do those videos for you guys as well. Thanks again for your time, guys.